everyone welcome to my channel it's your girl Jalissa. how you doing i hope everyone's good i hope everyone's blessed if you're new to my channel a little hug for you what's up welcome to the family all right and if you're a returning viewer how you doing what's going on my ogs bless um first and foremost i want to say thank you to everybody for liking sharing subscribing to my channel it's really made my channel grow tremendously in days and i i'm just like blessed i feel it in my heart thank you okay <laughs> got that out the way uh so yeah if this resonates with you please like share subscribe to my channel it helps it grow so i, I appreciate that all right leave me a comment down below i live for the tea i write back to everybody all right you want a private read that information is down below as well hi my beautiful souls how's everyone doing i hope everyone's blessed i hope everyone's okay all right your girl jaleza is coming through today with a pick a car reading of course and today's pick a car reading is going to be a what is your person feeling right now for you what are they feeling in general and what are they feeling for you right now all right, so I have three piles. Each pile has a significant different message. So please make sure to resonate intuitively with your pile, okay guys? So for pile one, I have my Oreo chapstick, okay, Oreo, mm -hmm. all right? For pile two, we got bubble gum, yum, all right? And for pile three, we have Hershey's, all right? Lots of chocolate on the table today. <laughs> All right. So pause the video if you need more time to resonate with your pile, of course. Bless. And timestamps are down below per the usual. All right, guys. I want to say thank you to everyone who has been liking, subscribing, commenting, and just engaging with my channel. I love you guys. I want to say sorry for those who um saw that I posted that I was going to go live yesterday we had some miscommunications with time and things just got real fuzzy and it wasn't possible like i was just rushing and it was just very difficult for me to go live um but i owe you guys i'm definitely gonna start doing lives i want to do horoscope readings live so just give me a moment because i'm also starting um my manifestation candle business which i want to start making candles with herbs oils and intentions okay so i'll show you guys that once it's like flowing all right um but yeah i have a lot going on so guys please be patient with me i love you guys thank you to everyone who has been donating to my channel you guys are amazing you guys are amazing all right and i will have an extended for this reading if you're interested the link is also down below per the usual all right all right, so let's get it. Let's go. Enough with the intro. All right, let's get it. Let's see what's going on with your person right now. All right, Mwah. I'll see you at your pile. Pile one, pile two, pile three. Let's get it. Let's go. Two, two, two. Hey, pile one. How are you doing, my sweethearts? I hope everyone's blessed. I hope everyone's okay. Bless, bless, bless. All right, you guys chose Oreo. That cookies and cream. Na 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 na. You know the song I'm hearing. Um. I think it's 112, Cookies and Creams. Yeah, definitely look that up. <laughs> cookies and Cream. All right, so there's a lot of yummy vibes coming through when it comes to you, my power one, okay? You guys are yummy. Little snacks. All right, so let me get this our spiritual number for the day um, for this reading. All right, so Spirit, Ancient Ancestors, Universe, Spiritual Guides. Please come through and give me the angel number for power one. You're gonna go on Google, you're gonna put this number in, and this is gonna be your spiritual message from up above. All right, so you put angel number meaning 4411, and there goes your message from spirit, okay? 4411. Oh, definitely is giving me like, um, um, like a spiritual connection vibe, all right? One second. Okay. all right guys so let's see what your person is feeling right now the first card you guys chose was the three of pentacles in reverse all right your person feels right now like they're going through something a little like a financial matter right now all right they feel like they need support right now like your person feels kind of alone your person feels like 
they need your support when it comes to this connection and just in general like they feel like they don't have much support right now all right so let's see what else your person is feeling all right what is your person feeling what's going on in your person's world right now why does what does your person feel for you right now Let me just lay these cards out real quick and then I will discuss your person's feelings. And I just want to put a message out there. You know, I want to let everyone know I do read intuitively. I don't just read by the book, you know, because each card has a has a meaning, like a legit meaning. Right. But I associate that meaning with my intuition, you know, because sometimes people ask me certain questions like, oh, but this card came out like this, but why you said this, da 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 So I just wanted to let you guys know that I am an, I am an intuitive reader, so I don't just read the card for what it is. I also connect with spirit, with the energies, and I give you what I receive, okay? So let's get it, let's go. What is your person feeling right now? I see that your person is going through some chaos right now, all right? Their world is really upside down, all right? I'm 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 getting, like, definitely this energy of, like, they don't really have control of what's going on in their world right now, and they feel a little bit angry about this. There's a lot of anger about, why don't I have control in regards to my world, in regards to this connection with my person? All right, so because of what's going on in their world, a lot I see your person may have a lot of responsibilities, a lot of people relying on them, um, just very overwhelmed with what they have been served lately in life, all right? So your person is just like, wow, they're dealing with a lot. Your person is very overwhelmed right now, especially when it comes to this connection because they feel like they don't have control over you. They're scared of some type of change that is needed in order to have this connection all right they feel like there's going to be a major change to this vibe this connection here with you and they're a little scared all right they're a little chaotic right now because of everything that's going on in their world this doesn't necessarily have to do entirely with you it's just what's really going on in their world this person could be experiencing some issues with their endeavors work in general like some work issues work like maybe they're not doing very well at work or they're having issues at work it's going to be different for many different people but i definitely see that there is issues at work and that they do feel very overwhelmed when it comes to like responsibilities families all right um i see that your person is going to want to bring some truth to this connection all right there could have been some mystery behind this connection um something going on and i feel like it has to do with like a third party this could be a family member a friend a co-worker or some other lover ex something of this nature there's going to be some truth coming out that your person is going to want to tell you all right um they feel like this is really weighing heavy on them and they need to express their feelings to you so i do see that your person is a little bit on the edge about this but they're gonna do it for some of you guys that are dealing with a person that has a child, I do see that um, they could be dealing with a child that is being a little bratty right now. There's some issues there, possibly with the child or the child's parent, um, for those who resonate with a person that has a child. Um, besides that, I do see your person being a little bit immature when it comes to their feelings, all right? And this is definitely going to cause, like, I see they're having, like, this tower moment. So the tower moment is definitely all about like they feel like they need to destroy the empire you guys created in order for something to stand with you guys. All right. Because apparently when you guys may have first started, they may have had this mask on because I do see the mask coming off. And um, now they just want to show you who they really are and put everything on the table and this is going to cause like a little bit of a shake up here in your connection. Um, nothing to worry about. This is great. This is like letting go of what doesn't serve your connection to rebuild a new empire off of truth, honesty and respect. OK, so I see that coming through. Your person could have been very selfish when it came to this connection 
And I see that they're going to want to be honest with you now. They're going to want to tell you the truth about why they were focusing so much on themselves. And it has to do a lot with their lifestyle, things going on in their world, okay? I see that your person feels really happy to have you in their life. There's a lot of happiness coming through. You bring a lot of joy to their world. You make them feel very optimistic. They do appreciate you a lot. They appreciate everything that you offer, everything that you bring to the table. Your person is not in denial, all right, about you guys and this connection, all right? Your person acknowledges their fears. They acknowledge the fact that what they have going on in their world could be a factor in this connection you know so they're acknowledging blah, blah, blah. they're acknowledging everything that's going on and they feel like they need to make a shift they need to make a change all right they want to ask you for forgiveness due to some type of secret some type of selfish behavior all right and they're gonna speak the truth to you they're gonna they're gonna want to open up to you and like basically let it all out like i said they want to put it all on the table Again, and going back to this child that I'm seeing here, for some of you guys that resonate with a child, um, your person has a child, um, I see that there is some type of parental situation here where they want to care for their child, but there's like shaky waters over there, all right? So they're dealing with something with a child for some of you guys, and um, they're dealing with this situation, and they're going to talk to you about it. It's going to come to light. All right. And for others of you who don't resonate with someone with a child, I definitely see that your person is because of the fact that they're being a little bit immature about their conditions or what's going on in their world. And they still feel like giving you this truth and this apology. I see that they're going through a lot of healing. All right. And this is in general for all of you guys. This person is going through a lot of healing right now. This person may have had some issues here with mommy or daddy. The way they were raised, the way they were conditioned, it led them to believe a certain way of life. And that's not the way to think or believe when it comes to connections or love. You know, um, there's just this conditioning that your person is like processing and healing from. All right. And it has to do with their parents. It has to do with the way they were raised. All right. So they see like a very like strong connection here with you. They feel like you guys mirror each other. All right. They feel like you guys would be like a very good, like you're the same suit. You would be a very, like a power couple. That's what I'm seeing here. Power couple vibes. All right. They're dealing with a lot and they see that you would be very helpful to them. Um, and they feel like not a lot of people are helping them. Not a lot of people have their back, but you would. And they really appreciate this about you. This is why they want to tell you the truth. This is why they want to put the cards on the table when it comes to you. All right. They want to balance the scales. They want to be fair. They want justice here with you, my love. All right. This person is trying to stay rooted and grounded. They're trying to stay leveled. All right. They want to be clear-minded they want to heal they want to connect more with you okay and they're seeing things from another point of view now when it comes to you guys my pot one all right so this is everything i'm really seeing when it comes to what your person is feeling right now your person is going through a lot and they feel like they need your support and they're willing to be honest with you give you an apology and tell you the truth um in order to evolve and you know take things to another level whether that be love friendship however it goes okay but this person definitely appreciates you and they want success with you they want happiness with you here because they feel this is what you offer you're like the light at the end of the at the end of the tunnel for this person okay you give this person hope you make them feel optimistic about the future and that's beautiful all right babies so Let's see what your person wants to say to you. I'm going to use my messages deck, all right? Messages by Jalissa, all right? So Spirit, Ancient Ancestors, Universe, Spiritual Guys, please come through and help me channel the message here for Pa One. What would Pa One's person like to say today? All right. What would Pa One's person like to say today to their person, Pa One's person? What would they like to say, Spirit? I want to surprise you, all right? You may have surprised this person a few times, or you may have been very generous to this person, 
And it's kind of like they want to give back to you. They want to surprise you. They want to give you something nice. They want to show you within their efforts how they feel. All right. You didn't deserve what I did to you. Right. Because they were being selfish. They may have been lying to you or keeping something from you. If you didn't know this, now you know. And they feel like you didn't deserve that. I was being selfish. Like they realized they're not they're no longer in denial. They realize what what, what happened here between you and them and that they have a major part in what happened. All right. Trust me, we will reconcile. All right. So you they they're telling you to trust them that they ve they're very confident that you guys um will connect and heal and um basically being in each other's worlds if you're not already. Okay, what else spirit? What else would they like to say? Part 1. I didn't realize I loved you until you were gone. All right, so you may have had some time apart from this person at one point, all right, and or maybe still, and depending, there's a lot of people watching, Um, and what I see is that your person is saying, like, that space where they didn't have you or you weren't around, they learned, and they didn't realize what they felt for you until that space was there, all right? We're unfinished business, yeah. So I'm definitely getting a lot of, like, you guys may have had, like, a little breakup or a little separation, and... This time apart really served justice for what they felt here for you. So they're not done with you. I want to lay on your chest. Mm -hmm. They feel like you guys are like unfinished business. <laughs> I feel you pulling away. All right. So they feel like you're leaving them behind. You're pulling away. I think about that day all the time. This could be a special day that you guys share and they think about it a lot. Okay, so beautiful, bless. All right, my beautiful, lovely souls, let me gather this up so we could get into the charmies, okay? So yeah, so your person, when they think of you, what they feel about you is straight happiness, all right? You bring joy into their world. They feel like you deserve a lot more than what they have given you. And a lot of what they have given you is due to responsibilities and chaos in their world, all right? So they were basically trying to have both their cake and eat it too but now they realize that you deserve more than that so they're willing to make some changes here for you and them they're gonna open up their heart to you bless all right so if you guys are sensitive to noise you may want to lower the volume now because i am gonna get into the charmies okay ready set go spirit ancient ancestors universe spiritual guys please come through and help me channel the charmies for part one You know what song I'm hearing? Cause I'm so sick of love songs, so tired of tears, so done with wishing you were still here. And I think that's so mad, I think, or mad by Neil. Yeah, like I'm hearing that song. Like this person is sick of hearing about love because they feel like they don't have it, you know, or they feel like. They really miss you in so many different ways that it's just like, I'm so sick of hearing about this. You know, I'm tired of crying. I'm tired of feeling sad. I'm tired of feeling down. All right. Yeah. So go listen to that song. That's definitely for you guys. And if you're new to my channel, welcome to the familia. <laughs> How you doing, boo boo? Make sure to subscribe. <laughs> All right. And what's going on, my OGs? I hope everyone's blessed. I hope everyone's okay. Um, I just want to announce I am definitely going to do an extended if you want to know more about this connection and where it's headed and what you can expect from your person, more messages from your person and advice from the universe. The link is down below, of course, and you're more than welcome to join me there. Bless. All right, but let's get into these charmies. So I definitely see that this situation did not go the way you anticipated. All right, your person may have been very flighty, may may have been very sneaky, because I do see that this person could have been selfish. All right, and, and they want to apologize for their selfish behavior. They want to tell you the truth. All right. Yeah. But this person is, like, very good-looking, by the way. Yes. Mm, yum. Um, <laughs> and what I see is that your person is could be very favored by people, very attractive, right? And um, 
they're very passionate about you, babe. All right. There's a lot of passion for you. A lot of desires while you're a snack dot com. OK, so let's get into the charmies. All right. Initials first, middle, last initials. We have R as in Robert, Ryan, Ronald, Richard. All right. We have M as in Mike, Mary, Monica, Mitchell, um, Moose. <laughs> e as in Edward, Elizabeth, um, Awardo. S as in Sam Smith, Scott, um, Samantha. We got another E, another R. All right, Richard. Uh, v, V as in Victor, Veronica, Vincent, um, Valerio. L as in Larry, London, Louis, Louisa, um, Larry. Yeah, I think it's a Larry. Lloyd. All right. Y as in Yo Yo. Y as in Yalisa. All right. We have a heart coming through because they do have love for you. All right. I see that your person wants to take a leap of faith when it comes to this connection. This is all about abandoning things that don't serve them and just taking that leap. Like it's scary, but they're willing to take it here for you. All right. Your person is saying, I can. They could make a difference here in this connection and they could make things happen. All right. You are definitely unfolding as a as a in your spiritual journey. You're unfolding. You're elevating. You're evolving. Your person is seeing you do this as well. They're very proud. All right. You guys are blessed. Weakness is a choice. Your person may have chose to be weak for some time and they know that they chose the wrong path here. All right. Your person feels that you are very like there's this like mm, alluring energy like you could be very flexible um, or your person just feels like, wow, you're very like passionate. There's a lot of sexy, like teasing vibes coming through. OK, there is a need to have patience when it comes to this connection. All right. Your person is definitely very sexually attracted to you. So your person wants a nut. <laughs> All right. Some of you guys could be a dragon in your Chinese calendar. Bless like me. <laughs> All right. Um, I definitely see that you guys are very fiery. You guys are very passionate. There's definitely something lucky coming through for you in this connection. Luck is on your side. And I just see a lot of fire, a lot of flames. All right. And some of you guys could definitely be a fire sign. All right. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, definitely coming through. All right. And air signs are coming through too. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. All right. Life is a gift and spirit wants you to remember that. Life is a gift. All right. You guys are protected. Okay. Your person feels that you guys like this connection is a miracle. Like it's like, wow, you are a wish fulfillment. They were blessed to have you or have you in their life in general. They feel really blessed. All right. They want to, they want to have you in their life forever. Okay. Like I said, I'm getting a lot of like, first of all, this person feels very unlucky when it comes to love, but I'm getting a lot of like playful energy. So your person feels like you're very free spirited. You're very playful. You're very sexual. There's like a very like, mm, I'm attracted to my person. Your person feels that you're very unique. You're a unicorn. You're special in your own way. And they really admire this about you. Like you have your own DNA, your own ID. No one could be you. All right. There's a need for you to believe in what you're manifesting, baby. All right. And love is definitely on the table. This person feels love for you. They're hoping for the best outcome here. Right now, your person is resting, um, chilling, laying back, really trying to see what their next move is going to be. All right. Some of you guys could be dancers out here or you love to dance. You're into music. OK, so spirit is definitely asking for you to like tap into music, start dancing, shake that booty, get into the positive energies. All right. Your angels are watching you. You're you're definitely protected by the universe, your spiritual ancestors, um, your spiritual guides. All right. She believes she could. So she did. So in general, like your person feels like you believe in yourself and you make things happen and they feel like this is amazing like you're magical in this way all right so you're kind of like a master manifester or this is what they feel okay bless something significant is going to happen between you and your person in the fall all right so much of me is made from what i learned from you you'll be with me like a handprint on my heart all right so this person feels like they learned a lot from you you taught them like a spiritual lesson a life lesson and you will always be in their heart i love you to the moon and back so this person has a lot of love for you okay and we have 
the infinity symbol here. So there could have been a lot of cycles between you and your person. Or you just feel like you're going in loops with your person. There's just a lot going on. It's like a lot of back and forth. All right. But just understand that this cycle is going on for a reason. This is part of your destiny. There is a lesson or a blessing. All right. That's what I like to say. It's either a lesson or a blessing. But for what I see, it's definitely been a blessing. All right. So life is a gift and spirit wants you to enjoy it. You or your person could be a Virgo and they feel that you're very practical. You or your person could be an Aquarius and they feel that you're very friendly, all right? You or your person could be a Capricorn and they feel that you're very ambitious, all right? You or your person could be an Aries and they feel that you're very courageous. You or your person could be a Cancer and they feel that you're very imaginative. Ooh, yes, bless. And I'm seeing two to two again, all right, guys? So that is that. I hope you definitely enjoyed the reading and that this brought you love, clarity, and all the whole nine, okay? Mwah, bless. Now I'm going to go off to the extended where I'm going to go deeper into this connection. And if you want to meet me there, the link is down below. And you're more than welcome to join me. Bless, bless, bless. I'm in such a zen energy right now. Wow, I love this energy right here. You guys, I don't know. This connection is very, like, healing. Anyway, um, I want to say thank you, bless. Thank you for being here. Please make sure to like, to subscribe, hit the bell button, leave a comment down below. I love you guys. I wish you guys nothing but the best. And I'll see you guys in the future, okay? Bye. Hey, Paul 2. How you doing, sweethearts? Yes, you guys chose bubble yum. Bubble gum yum. Yum bubble gum, all right? Um, I definitely get, like, an exciting, bubbly, like, type of energy coming off of that. All right, but first let's start with your angel number, and then we'll get into your reading. All right, so spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guys, please come through and give me the angel number for Pao Tzu. Pao Tzu. Pao Tzu. Pao Tzu. What? I'm not kidding you. All right, Pao Tzu. <laughs> You saw me roll the dice, right? All right, 4411 is your angel number as well. I need to look this one up because that's the that's a first. To get the same angel number twice, that's that's definitely a first for me. All right, so um, bless. So that is your angel number. Go on to Google, put that number in, 4411, and there's a message from Spirit for you, Pal2. Got the same message as Pal1. So maybe you resonated with Pal1 as well, but let's get it, let's go. You guys chose the judgment card, right? So definitely what I'm seeing here is that your person wants to open up, all right? There is this, I want to start over. I want to start on, on a new leaf type of energy, all right? Um, they want to wake something up within your connection, all right? They, they feel like you have the key, all right? And they feel like you open up their heart chakra you open up you open them up all right and they're ready to unfold they're ready to expand they're ready to open up to you and you got the key so they're they're just waiting for you to turn that key all right so let's see more about what your person is feeling here okay let me lay out the cards all right yes your person is really like in this i want to open up I want to take this to the next level type of energy, all right? I want to tell you the truth. I want to have success here with you, all right? And let's see what your person is feeling. One second while I get this all laid out. I just want to say while I'm doing this that... I read intuitively. I don't just read by the book, all right? I am very connected to my spiritual team, all right? My spiritual ans my spiritual guides, my ancient ancestors, okay? I do communicate as I am reading. Messages do flow through me. Sometimes I don't even remember what I'd be saying and it's just coming through, all right? So I want you to understand I'm not just reading by the book. Each card definitely has a meaning, 
you could learn the cards if you ever wanted to but or you may know them because some i do have readers that watch my videos <laughs> bless all right but i just want to let everyone know that i am reading not just what it means but also what i am receiving all right so let's get it let's go let's see what's going on here what is your person feeling right now for you all right guys your person feels you all right let me just tell you they feel like they haven't opened up that heart chakra all the way for you but they want to all right they're feeling this connection they feel like you are their lover they could resonate with you as a soulmate or a twin flame i see like i'm definitely getting a lot of spiritual vibes they feel very connected to you all right your person needs to make a choice and your person is thinking about this choice all right there's a lot of anxiety around this connection and making a choice and just seeing how they're going to move forward. I see that your person is stressing a little bit. They feel really vulnerable right now when it comes to you and also when it comes to their endeavors and finances. All right. So there's a lot of vulner vulnerability going on. They want to hold on really tight to you. They don't want you to leave them. All right. They may not be able to offer you financially everything that you want or need right now because they don't got it like that um or maybe they do got it like that but they're going through something so they're just really like calculating what they do financially so right now they feel a bit vulnerable but they see you my darling they see you as marriage material they put you on a pedestal so they're gonna make a choice here and i do see that you may have had a tough situation with this person in the past where you got where you may have felt like this person backstabbed you they may have did something or said something or ended something here with you in the past or something of that nature where there could have been a little space or a little weird vibe between you and them and it could have it could have been because of a call a text or social media something of that nature all right and what they want is to recover this connection and let it blossom all right they feel bad about this, about the fact that you guys went through this situation, this little event, all right? And um, it could have been due to jealousy or it could have been just due to, like, ignorance, all right? Just doing something really stupid and they got caught up in it. And they they want to, like, basically bring this connection back to life. They want to rebirth this connection. They want to choose you. They want you to be their lover, their person, all right? There is a lot of, they feel like there's a lot of gossip around this connection, people talking about you guys, um, friends, family, however it goes. So there's a lot of anxiety about that as well. And this person's very concerned about leading the way, all right? They feel like you have a little bit more of an upper hand in this connection than they do. They feel very vulnerable when it comes to you. And they just want to have control. They want to lead the connection. They want this to go the way they want it to go all right and so therefore they're asking for advice they're speaking to people about you they're trying to get like their friends or their mentors to give them advice about how they should go about this connection how they could bring this connection back from the ashes you know that phoenix vibe rebirthing this connection just giving it life all right not that it doesn't have life right now it does definitely it's it has a pulse right but they they feel like they messed up in some way in the past or they may have did something to hurt your feelings in the past and um they really want to bring this back they want you to feel happy with them they want you to feel um blessed to have have them in your life or have them in your life all right they want to treat you like the queen king that you are all right so they feel you they put you on this pedestal they want to apologize to you because they feel like they hurt your feelings. There's a lot of um I I may they may have made you cry. They may have made you feel really down and out because of their actions or because of something they said in the past. I am getting this communication. There was something about communication or social media and they just want to really like apologize to you about this. Apologize for hurting your feelings, apologize about the gossip or just you know making you putting you in that situation they definitely want to apologize to you this person definitely does not feel at peace completely right now they feel very vulnerable when it comes to you all right they feel for some of you guys this person gets a lot of headaches they they can't sleep at night or they need substance to help them sleep because they think about what they have done or they think about 
how they may have messed up a lot and it really like messes with their head all right it's like oh that was stupid like why did i do that like this little shit ended up being like this big because i was just being stupid all right so there's a lot of like fighting with themselves in their head um about this connection and um yeah so also there's a lot of um like sleeping like they they prefer to sleep and deal with the healing in that way like their healing is sleeping so they prefer to sleep to heal all right instead of like verbalizing their pain and healing in that way so right now this person could do a lot could be doing a lot of sleeping all right or a lot of like i just need to be alone right now all right within the next few weeks you could expect something to blossom here between you and your person all right there's going to be some type of rebirth some type of new energies coming into the mix here because this person really admires you all right right now there's a lot of grief that they're going through a lot of healing that they're going through because of their past actions because of what they've done here you may have felt it as well you may have cried as well this may have really hurt you as well so there's just a lot of healing going on here a lot of transformation energy all right this person is cleaning up their home they're cleaning up their home because they feel like when i say home i'm not physically like i'm not literally meaning their home i mean like they're cleaning up their life all right there's a lot of things that they need to let go of they need to get rid of old energies old people like just things that don't serve them and this connection anymore so they're cleaning up they're getting rid of things that don't serve them and don't serve this connection okay and I see that your person is transforming. There's a lot of transformation energy here, all right? They're, they're really desiring to transform, and they are making it happen. They are making it happen, sorry. Um, there is definitely something with your person's throat chakra. Your person is like, what I'm getting is like, it's very difficult for them to express what they feel. It's very difficult for them to be vulnerable and tell you exactly what their heart space is holding all right so i'm seeing this they're trying to heal from this they're trying to like grow that courage grow that 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 strength to tell you what it is all right because they're very vulnerable all right and i see definitely a new person being birthed this person is transforming at this time so they're letting go of the old they're shedding that skin they're coming out as a new person and they're going to want to evolve here with you, Pao Tzu. Okay? <laughs> Bless. All right, so let's see what they want to say to you. All right, I'm going to use my messages by Jalissa's deck. All right, guys? Spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guys, please come through. Guys, I am doing a lot these days. Um, I'm starting up a new candle business, and um, which I'm going to introduce soon in the future. All right? manifestation candles by jalissa all right so um right now i haven't had a moment but i know people keep asking me what decks i use and if i could list them of course and i'm gonna get on that but first i need to get this other business um on the road so once i'm done with that i'll focus more on my description um details and i'll post i'll post all my decks and everything that i use all right a lot of my decks are self-made, so they're not decks that you could technically purchase or get, but I'm going to work on getting those out there too, so you guys could buy it, purchase it from the vendor. All right, so um, let's get it, let's go. Let's see what your person wants to say. So spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guys, what would Pao Tzu's person like to say to them right now? You didn't deserve what I did to you. All right, so they, like I said, they could have been... They could have did something really stupid and you didn't deserve it, all right? So they're really going through it. They're really beating themselves up about it and they're going to ask for forgiveness, all right? You could expect something to happen within the next few weeks with this person. A lot of evolving, a lot of growing. I wish I could take my words back, all right? They may have said something to you that hurt your feelings, all right? They may have said like something along the lines like, yeah, well, you know, like that wasn't that and that wasn't this, like lying. Um, and they really, really regret lying to you. You deserve much better. You, de you deserve so much better, all right? So they feel like, like I said, they put you on a pedestal. They see you as, wow, anybody would want to, like, have you because you're such a great person. That's how they're seeing you. And it's kind of like, I know you deserve so much better. How could you love me after all I've done? All right, so they feel very 
down and out because of everything that they have done. And they're just, like, very surprised. They're like, nah, my person's not going to want me. My person's not going to, like, you know, like, how can you still want me? Like, wow. I am only worried about my money and status right now. All right? So this person is cleaning up, like I said. Their, their primary concern right now is finances. I told you this person is going through some issues financially. All right? So right now they're really focusing and worried about their foundation, not saying that they're not worried about you. They are because they're losing sleep over you. I'm scared to tell you how much I love you. All right. And we're going to get one more. I want to lay on your chest. <laughs> Aw. They want to cuddle. All right. Back of the deck energy. I want you to try and understand me. All right. This person could be a little complicated. You know, they could be used to um, having things served to them or just getting their way and you know, they just want you to understand that they're not used to someone like you, someone that is so giving, so nurturing, so beautiful, so handsome, so like, wow, you have such a pure heart. Like, they're not used to that. They're used to conniving people. So they want you to understand that they weren't aware that this is the type of person they were dealing with. And they're coming back with new energy. All right. They, they, they're choosing you as a lover here. OK, that's what I'm saying. All right, so let's get into the charmings. All right, this could be loud. So if you are sensitive to noise, oh, geez. If you're sensitive to noise, you may want to lower the volume now. All right, ready, set, go. Spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guides, please come through and help me channel the charmings for Pau 2. Oh, Pau 2, the anchor was stuck to me. Oh, that just rolled over there. Is that an S? Yeah, S. It just went back in the bowl. All right, do we have another S in here? Well, we got S, and then S just wanted to fly back in. Yeah, we have another S, so it doesn't matter. All right, so let me just get some of this in here. All right. And that is the sauce. One second, guys, while I organize my charmies. You already know what time it is. For those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. Welcome to the familia, all right? Um, I do my baby tarot first, my initials second, and the charmies third. All right, baby tarot is just mini tarots, okay? What's going on, my OGs? I hope everyone's blessed. I hope everyone's good. <laughs> all right? All right, guys. Um... I am definitely going to hold an extended if you are interested in that. So I basically, in the extended, the link is down below. In the extended, I go deeper into the connection, more of what's going on in your person's world, what you can expect from them, what they're feeling, more messages from your person, and advice from the universe. The link is down below. If you're interested in that, you're more than welcome to join me, all right? So, but for now, let's just get into the charmies. Let's see what we got going on here, guys, all right? So I see that your person is going through a lot of chaos. There is this very chaotic energy coming through. Your person may come in with this energy, all right? They're going to fly in. There's this energy of, I want to fly in, all right? And take a leap of faith. And they're just going to do it like very like, bing, bing, boom. Like it's going to be very chaotic. It's going to be very unexpected. You're just going to be like, what? whoa all right so yeah they want to come in they want to fly in take a leap of faith with you and make some changes here i definitely see that your person looks good yum what a snack all right um and they're very passionate about you they really really feel a lot of fire a lot of sexual energies coming through for sure all right so they want to def definitely excuse me be intimate with you but they feel so much passion and desire of, to have you okay all right so first middle last initial let me drink some water because out of nowhere i got hiccups what hiccups mm. Mm. okay so first middle last initial we have q for quintel um queen all right we have n for nancy nando um we have k for keith kevin um Kendall, Kendra, um, Y for Yalisa, Yo Yo, <laughs> G for Gary, George, um, Greg, 
I for Edelise Igloo. <laughs> we have another K. We got R for Robert Ronald Richard um, Robinson. All right. We got M for Mike, Monica, Mary, um, Michelle, um, Mitchell, um, Martin. We got E for Edward, Elizabeth, Arnardo, um, Eddie. Um, we got another G. We got another Q. We got S for Sam, Scott, Smith, um, Samuel, um, Scott. All right. I think I said that. All right. F. For Frank, Fernando, Francis, Francisco, um, yeah, another G, another F. We got A for Amanda, Anthony, Arnold, Arthur, all right? Z for Zale, Zena, um, O, which is holding on to the anchor here, <laughs> O for Oscar, October, um, yeah, Q again, T for Tom, Tiffany, Terry, um, Thor, <laughs> X for Xavier, Exelina, all right, we got another E, we got another E, we got another M, we got another S, all right. We got C for Charles, Christopher, Christian, um, Catherine, Chris, another C, Chris, um, um, Christian, Couture, I don't know why I said that, but whatever. We got another E, okay. All right, so let's get into the Charmies. Your person definitely sees you as a star. Wow, you're beautiful. They see you as a star. You're amazing. Bless. There is a need for you to have patience in this connection, all right? There may have been a lot of loops or a lot of back and forth energies between you and your person, but it's coming back around, all right? So if it was cold, the heat is coming. If it was hot, you know, some cool air is coming. Like, you know, it's, it's very loopy. It just goes in loops here. Something is definitely going to happen pretty fast between you and your person. Your person is going to rush in. There's like this rushing in type of energy. All right. Your person is evolving. Your person feels that you are just an, an inspiration. All right. You are opening up in general. They see you blossoming. All right. You really inspire them. There's a need for you to have faith for your manifestations. Okay. And like, again, I'm saying like, I see you guys and it's like your person sees you and you're shining, you're glowing. It's as if you're, you've gone through a transformation, you've healed, you're, you look really good right now. All right. There is definitely vacations or some mental vacation um, coming up ahead. I see travels. All right. Your person feels that you're very sweet, that you're very like you're full of life. You're full of that. Um, you make them feel like like lifted. All right. They're resting right now. They're thinking about what they're going to do next. OK, so they're they're really deep in thought about this. Wow, guys, you guys, they feel like together you guys will be like a power couple. Like there is like this energy of like evolving and just going up in life all right they feel like you hold the key you have the key to the to you to success to happiness to love they feel like you are the key that they've been waiting for all right um again they're resting they're trying to figure out their next move here they want to have you in their life forever all right we're getting wine here. Some of you guys may love to drink wine or like wine. Spirit is just really asking you to like relax, chill out, get a glass of wine, talk to your friends or like have like a glass, a shot of liquor or something like that. Like just mellow out, you know, chill out. That's the energy that spirit wants you to be in. All right. Um, I see love coming in. Definitely. Love is coming your way. Again, they feel like they hold the key to your heart as well. 
this is very like soulmate twin flame vibes all right you guys are spiritually connected for a fact okay you guys definitely have like a past life relationship where you've encountered each other in past life all right especially as um a love connection all right so your person is going to be messaging you they're going to want to talk to you very sweetly tell you something very nice here all right your person is waiting for something to happen in order to put on their big boy big girl pants and make a move here all right and it's kind of like for some of you people like for some of you guys i see like they're waiting to take this connection to the next level and that's like the energy i'm getting like next level so whatever your wherever your connection is at they want to take it to the next level and they're waiting for something to happen in order to offer this all right they feel like you're very fearless all right you guys are manifesting right now and spirit wants you to focus on that have faith all right you, there's a lot of grace here all right love is definitely part of this connection they have love for you there's a need for you to believe in what you're manifesting okay to make it happen faster your person feels that you are a unicorn you're special you're unique you have this very free-spirited energy no matter where they are they think of you they want you they desire you all right there's a need for you to believe again in your manifestations life is a gift and you have to treat it as such all right when you wake up feel like blessed like ah oh, like i'm blessed i woke up i'm healthy i'm doing my thing you know things are good all right so you need to see um spirit wants you to see life as a blessing all right there's some things that you need to hang up that are no longer serving you all right let it go let it go there's definitely love in this connection and there's a need for you to trust the universe trust your ancient ancestors your spiritual guides that they want you to understand that they know what's going on and they and they want you to trust the process all right you or your person could be a scorpio and they feel that you're very passionate you or your person could be a leo and they feel that you're very generous all right you or your person could be a virgo and they feel that you're very practical you or your person could be a taurus and they feel that you're very trustworthy we got virgo again all right you or your person could be a gemini and they feel that you're very intelligent and we got cancer twice so you or your person could be a cancer and they feel that you're very imaginative all right like you have a great imagination beautiful mind all right so bless all right guys i hope you really like this all right now i am gonna go into the extended where i am gonna pull more about this connection more about what your person's thinking what they're planning to do why they're planning to do it and messages from your person and messages from the universe so if you're interested the link is down below you're more than welcome to join me bless either way i just want to say thank you thank you so much for being here i hope you liked your reading blessings um i hope this brought you light comfort i helped you feel better about this connection okay and I will see you guys in the future. Please make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell button so you get notified when I post and stuff like that. <laughs> okay? And leave me a comment down below. I love you guys. And I wish you guys nothing but the best. Mwah. Bye. Hey, Pal3. How are you doing, my beautiful sweethearts, my beautiful souls? You guys chose Hershey's, all right? That chocolate, chocolate, milk chocolate favorite Mm, delicious all right so i'm getting definitely delicious vibes all right and that chocolate cocoa energy all right so some of you guys could be chocolate lovers out here all right so let me get you your angel number first before we go into your reading all right so spirit ancient ancestors universe spiritual guys please come through and give me the channel angel number for part three four two one two all right, so your angel number, Pal 3, is 4212, which is pretty cool because it's like the 2 and the 2 makes a 4 and then the 1, you know what I'm saying? So resonating with these other guys here, but this is pretty cool. All right, so you got 4212 is your angel number. You go on Google, you put that in, that there's a message there for you, Pal 3, all right? I would have been so like, whoa, if we would have got 4411 again, all right? So anyway, let's get it. Let's go. All right, so you guys chose the knight of swords all right so there could be a lot of chaos right now going on with this connection all right a lot of like 
weird energies all right i do see that your person wants to come in they think about you a lot there's a lot of mind space energy when it comes to you you and your connection here they think about it a lot they think about you a lot and it's kind of like um they also think about the chaos going around their world a lot all right so let's see what they're feeling now and one second while i lay my cards out and I just want to say, guys, when I read, I read intuitively. I do read the card for what it is, but I also channel messages and energies from my spiritual guides, from ancient ancestors, all right? So it's not entirely, like, I'm not entirely reading my messages through the cards, per se. So it's like, oh, but this card means this. And then, the, yeah, I'm going to give you the meaning of the card, but I'm going to tell you the message behind it as well, what I'm receiving from the universe. And, um that is that so i just wanted to throw that out there all right guys so you know exactly how i read and what's going on here all right all right guys so let's get it let's go let's see what your person is feeling right now all right i definitely see that like i said your person is thinking about you a lot all right there's a lot of mind space energy going on here they're wearing a mask i'll tell you that much all right your person is manifesting a lot right now. They're really desiring to make major changes within this connection. They feel a lot of love for you. There's so much love coming through. All right, I don't know if this person has expressed that they love you or that there's love here, but there's a lot of love coming through. They feel a lot of love for you. All right, so they're manifesting something. They want something major to happen here with you and them. All right, I see that your person is taking their time with this connection. You could feel that your person is very slow motion, like it's taking a while for things to evolve here with you and your person. And I see it's because your person is a perfectionist. All right, your person doesn't want failure. Your person doesn't want to fall on their face. This person is very much into like, they're very sensitive as well. For some of you guys, your person could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I'm also getting other signs as well, like air and fire and earth as well. But definitely that water sign is coming through strongly for me. And um, yeah, so I see that your person is thinking tremendously a lot about this. This you may not know because they're wearing a mask. All right. So they're taking it slow. They're taking their time. They want success. This person may have gone through a lot of loops with past relationships. So it's kind of like, I want to take it slow. I want to make sure I'm doing the right thing here, okay? So your person is in turtle energy. But for me, I love this energy because this is like an energy of like, I am dedicated and I want to see success with this connection. Therefore, I'm going to take it slow. I'm not just going to rush it. I'm not just going to be impulsive, all right? Even though they're very impulsive as well when it comes to you because they're very sexually attracted to you, all right? So they're very fired up about you. They There's this like, ah, I just want to rush in and just like mm, rip your clothes off, all right? <laughs> yes, this energy is definitely on the table, all right? So they're very impulsive about you. They're very passionate about you. There's a lot of, I want to have intimate moments with you like now, all right? But they want to take it slow when it comes to the connection, all right? Now, your person may be going through some issues with their endeavors, their foundation, money, all right? I do see that your person is stressing money right now. There is a lot of like home space energy. I want to move from where I live or I want to relocate. I need to make a change within the home, all right? They're having family issues. So there could be issues with family or if they have children with children or just something of this nature, all right? I do see that they feel really lonely right now. There is this lonely energy, like a lone wolf, like I'm all alone and I have to make things happen on my own. And they're trying to be tough. They're holding in all that pain. They're holding in all of that hurt energy because I do see that they're very lonely right now and they feel really stressed about the, their endeavors, their home base, all right, their foundations. So they're wearing a mask. They're trying to act like it's all good, but it's not, all right? They're holding it all in inside, all right? And um, I do see we got the magician twice. All right. So I do see definitely that your person is really trying to manifest something amazing here with you and them. They have all the tools. They feel like they have everything they need to make this connection work, to make it happen. But they're taking their time. And you want to know why? Because this person sees you guys taking it to the next, next level. All right. Like marriage evolving you know like they see this with you all right 
they feel like you hold a lot of like healing energies you have like this key to open up their heart chakra all right they feel like you have these properties to heal so you could resonate as an empath or a light worker or something of that nature they see this in you they feel like you are very healing you are very powerful so are they this person is definitely a master manifester they have made a lot of things in their life happen just by thought just by intention just by manifesting working with the universe and aligning perfectly all right but right now there's a lot of insecurities about their foundation all right so they're a little stressed about this all right and i just see that they're ready for love and they're ready to learn about love and they're ready to take things to the next level here with you it's just that the only thing i'm seeing is that their endeavors their foundation their home it just needs to be fixed it needs to be cleaned all right they don't feel abundant at this time. They feel very like down. There's a lot of low vibrations when it comes to like their endeavors, their foundation. All right. So they're not feeling really abundant. They're feeling like they're lacking abundance. All right. They're trying to listen to their intuition when it comes to you and this connection. There's a very powerful spiritual connection here between you and them. All right. So they feel really connected with you um spiritually okay and spirit is really asking for you to listen to your intuition as well because you are connected to this person so you could understand and feel kind of what they're going through you just really need to tap in if you haven't already but yes you're very intuitive there's a need for you to tap into what's really going on here if you have questions okay um your person is very sensitive very very sensitive especially when it comes to connections and love they've been hurt all right, some people have let them down, have used them. And I see that for some of you guys, some of these people that have let them down or person that has let them down is actually really hurting them right now financially or with their endeavors or their foundation, their home, however it goes with their family. All right. So I do see a pain coming through pain that needs to be healed. All right. So they're very down and out for the most part and they're hiding it. All right, so they're very sensitive right now. They're trying to heal. They're trying to process. They're trying to understand what's going on. And they're going to take their time to do this, which is good. They need time to heal. All right, your person right now doesn't feel blessed. They feel like they're dealing with a lot. There's a lot on their plate. And they just feel like usually they're very blessed. They're very outgoing. They're very like out there having fun and all that great stuff. But right now they don't feel blessed. They feel like they need to devote themselves to themselves and they need to be committed to what they're doing here in life, all right? So your person does want to commit to you. They do want to take this to the next level, but they do need to heal, all right? So there is this mask that your person is wearing. They're not telling you the truth about their issues at home or their endeavors or their foundation, all right? So there's a lot of healing that is processing right now, all right? And they feel really down and out. I wouldn't be surprised if this person is like wanting to be alone like in that hermit mode wanting to be alone wanting to process alone and just like deal with that all right so this is what your person is dealing with right now this is what your person is feeling right now when it comes to you and them all right they want to hold on to you they want to keep you they think about you a lot all right there's a lot of thought space about you it's just other things that are weighing the scales down a little bit and it has everything to do with their life and what they're going through all right so now i'm gonna pull messages from your person from my personal deck all right what your person would like to say to you right now so let's get it let's go this person really does love you though there is a lot of love space here for you all right so i don't know if they express this but they do love you all right so spirit what would pal three's person like to say right now to them i wish i can take my words back all right so they may have said something to you here in the past um that may have sounded along the lines where it's like oh i don't know what i want i'm not ready i'm not or whatever something of that nature or they may have said something very hurtful to you that may have made it seem like they didn't care or they just you know like i'm, I'm doing this because i need to take it slow or whatever and it may have hurt you in a way um, and they just wish they could take their words back because now they're eating their words. They're like, wow, you didn't deserve that. All right. You didn't deserve that. And they feel it. They feel bad about it because they see you as a soulmate. All right. 
I feel badly for the way I treated you. You didn't deserve that. You see what I'm saying? So, like, they regret. They regret treating you a certain type of way. Will you forgive me? All right? Are you going to forgive them? They're, they're questioning this. They're thinking about this a lot. Like, you know, like, hmm. My nights are so cold here without you. All right? So this space, if you have space between you and them or you're just not around them or something of that nature, you know, they feel very cold without you, you know, and they feel like they would like your warmth. I still need some time, all right? So this person needs time because they're healing. They don't want you to see them in this low vibration, all right? They don't want you to see them down and out. It's really hard for them to wear this mask, all right? It's really hard for them to act like everything's all good, everything's cool, when it's really not. I want to lay on your chest, all right? There's a lot of cuddling vibes coming through today. A lot of, like, I want to heal with you. I want to lay on your chest. I just want your comfort, I need your energy. I need your blessings, all right? You deserve so much better. They feel like they're they're not good enough for you, and you deserve better, all right? I just don't see how this can work, all right? So this is coming from that low vibrational energy that they're in because they're having issues at home. They're having issues with their endeavors, their foundation, and they're just like, I don't deserve you. You deserve so much better. Like, why would you even want me? Like, they're so insecure right now. And they're not showing it. They're wearing a mask. So if they're staying away from you, it's because they don't want you to see this. They don't want you to feel their energy. They don't want you to pick up on it. Especially because they feel that you're very intuitive. You really tap into energies with them and they feel very connected. So they feel like you could feel what's really going on. All right? Blessed. Okay, so now we're going to go into the Charmies. All right? So let me just gather this up. Okay? And put it to the side so we could get into the charmies. All right. One second. All right, guys. I will be doing an extended where I'm going to go more into what's going on in your person's world. More into what they're feeling. What you can expect from them. Messages from them. And advice from the universe. All right. So if you're interested in that, the link is down below. You're more than welcome to join me there. Bless. Okay. Okay. And let's get into these charmies. All right, so this gets very loud. If you're sensitive to noise, you may want to lower the volume now, okay? Spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guides, please come through and help me channel the charmies for pal three. All right. We have a few letters that fell out here. Okay, so let me zoom in so you guys can see the charmings as I go. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Welcome to the family, boo. All right, make sure to subscribe. <laughs> um, <laughs> what's going on, my OGs? How y'all doing? Um, I hope everyone's good. I hope everyone's blessed. So yeah, so here on my channel, I do my baby tarot first. Then I get into my initials. And then I go into the charmings. All right, so let me just organize real quick. All right, cool. So what I see is that one second. Your person's going to your person's very passionate about you, all right? And like I said, they really um want to be intimate with you. So I do see your person wanting to rush in, wanting to like basically offer you this passion, this love, this connection, all right? And um your person looks good too. <laughs> um, but yeah, so they're going to want to rush in on you. They're going to want to offer you some type of passion some type of love all right <laughs> all right so now let's get into initials first middle last initial we have c as in charles chris um christina chrissy christian i as in Elise igloo j as in justin jacob jonathan jalissa <laughs> um jessica um jared all right we have z as in zebra xena zale all right g as in gary george um greg all right u as in unicorn ulysses um m as in mike mary monica michelle mitchell all right v as in victor veronica vincent um i again H as in Harry, Hen Helen, Henry, 
Hector, all right? E as in Elizabeth, Edward, Edison. We got a U again. We got a W, Washington, Wanda, Wendell. We got a P, Peter, Paul, Patricia, um, Patrick. S, Sam, Smith, Scott, um, Samuel. Um, yeah, D as in Doug, David, Daniel, Davis. We got a G again. O as in Oscar, October. All right. We got T for Thomas, Tiffany, Tim. All right. Um, another P. All right. Anything else? Any more letters? All right. No more letters. So we're going to get into the Charmies. All right. You, this situation definitely involves love. All right. Your person has a lot of love for you here. All right, there's a need for you to trust the process, trust the universe, okay, and how things are unfolding. This person wants to have you in their life forever. They feel like you're a unicorn, you're special, you're unique, you're a free-spirited person, and they really feel honored to have you in their life. They feel like, all right, so the universe is saying that you need to trust the situation, bring love into the situation, manifest what you want to happen here. Your person is going to communicate with you because they're hoping that they could um, definitely evolve this matter here. There's definitely grace. Your person has grace for having you in their life. All right. They're saying drive safe. I need you here with me. All right. So for all my little fast and furious people out here, like be chill with the pedal. No, I'm saying. <laughs> all right. Your person is very emotional and like they're evolving. They're unfolding. They're going to open up to you about what they feel. All right. Because they feel a lot of love here. They feel that you're very brave. You're definitely more than enough for this person if you didn't think so. All right. They feel that you are a miracle. Namaste. All right. Namaste. There's a need to meditate. There's a need to get balanced with your chakras. We are all mad here. All right. So you guys could be light workers. You guys could be um, very different, very unique. All right. And... People may judge you for this or whatever, but who cares, all right? We're all mad here. Alice in Wonderland vibes, okay? Um, children could be a factor in this connection, all right? I do see a lot of back and forth energy. We got the letter Y, Yalisa, um, yellow. <laughs> Your person feels that you are a star, all right? You're very healing. You're very grounded. You're, you're definitely a star. They feel like you're going places in life, all right? This is definitely a spiritual connection i feel for you and your person and i feel like some of you guys could have gone through many loops with this person many cycles there is definitely a healing process happening at this time all right messages are definitely coming through from your person all right a lot of love coming through i see definitely something fortunate coming your way money's coming your way all right i love you i love you i love you this person really loves you a lot Something significant is going to happen between you and your person in the fall. Friends forever, all right? So they really do value your friendship. They really do value you as a person in general, all right? Your person is waiting for something to happen before they put on their big boy, big girl pants, all right? They're going to make something very, very amazing happen here, but they're waiting for something to happen before they do this, all right? Live in the moment. Live in the moment. Don't live in the past. Don't live in the future, okay? Okay? You or your person could be an Aries, and they feel that you're very courageous, all right? You or your person could be an Aquarius, and they feel that you're very friendly. You or your person could be a Scorpio, and they feel that you're very passionate, all right? We got Aries again coming through, all right? You or your person could be a Leo, and they feel that you're very generous, okay? You or your person could be a Virgo, and they feel that you're very practical, you're very smart, all right? Bless. Okay, guys, so I hope that you really love the reading. And now I am going to go off to the extended where I'm going to talk more about this connection. I'm going to pull more of what you can expect from your person, what's going on and why. More messages from your person and advice from the universe. Okay, baby? So if you're interested in that, the link is down below. You're more than welcome to join me. Bless. Either way, I want to say thank you so much for being here. And I hope that this message um definitely brought light love and comfort into your world i wish you guys nothing but the best and please if you can like the video subscribe hit the bell button and leave me a comment down below you guys that really really motivates me to do more and to 
bring the channel to another level. All right. I love you guys. And I wish you nothing but the best. Bye. See you in the next one. <laughs>